Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got early and accurate update information, but today we're taking a little bit of a look back into the history of Clash of Clans with the assistance of the world record keeping of Clash of Clans Wikia.com. Top left of your screen, I will also put the URL in the description so you guys can check it out yourself and we can see some of the world records in Clash of Clans that will never, ever be broken. Starting with Inigo Montoya, not the same Inigo Montoya from Lost Phoenix, but from the clan Exploitation. First ever player to complete the first 51 achievements and first to achieve Heroic Heist, that is the Dark Elixir loot. And you'll notice he's also from a clan that claims to be the first ever farming clan, which is also verified by the website Hall of Fame that Exploitation was the first ever farming clan in Clash of Clans. Now the, these, again, these records are records that cannot be broken. But don't worry, there are a bunch of records that can be broken. We will get into that in a future episode. We're looking right here at the history of Clash of Clans and the very first clan of all time. Which is kind of strange because they've won five wars in their history. They're level two, yet they're the first clan ever formed in Clash of Clans. So you could imagine, well, where are these guys from? Could these be Supercell employees? Are these players that played the early closed beta before Clash of Clans really came out? Uh, I do personally know a few players that used to be in there have moved on to other clans, but it's interesting to imagine who these guys could be. Obviously the clan not super active anymore, but they are indeed the very first clan of all time. And you can see they had the clan hashtag 2PP. Uh, it doesn't get much shorter than that. Now this is kind of a strange but true look at a clan as well because we go to the first ever clan to win a clan war. None other than a clan called OP Hunters. Uh, they won the very first clan war of all time. And so you would think, wow, this clan must be really... Um... So they've won two clan wars and they're level two. Now remember that the clan wars won on the screen and the war streaks, those were not added at the beginning of clan wars. So those aren't, that's not truly how many clan wars that OP hunters ever won. It's not like they won the first ever clan war and then one more and then that was it. So, uh, but it is interesting again to look back that these are the oldest clans in the game. This was a clan that was around when clan wars were first released, which just happened to be around the time that I made my first trip to uh, Helsinki, Finland, uh, which we could go into more detail a little bit later as well. Uh, but let's take a look down the list. Again, you guys can look in the description if you want to look these clans up for yourself or look for a clan, a record that you think you could beat. But okay, I got that one wrong. Hold on. It's, uh, oh, there's a nine at the beginning. Okay, now this clan is the first ever clan to win 500 clan wars. They did that in uh, on Valentine's Day of 2017. Then they hit 600 clan wars at the end of September 2017, 700 clan wars in April of this year. And as you can see, they're just about to crack 800 clan wars won. Now they're not the highest level clan and you can see there's something going on. Okay, so maybe these guys are just playing 10v10 wars. I'm not sure, you know, there's another strange but true episode built in here somewhere. But this Chinese clan has just a few extremely active members, as you can see, not even 10. But they have won more wars, I believe, than any other clan right now in the history of the game. Uh, let's go ahead and move on and take a look at some more early records that will never be beaten. And for that... We're next going to look at none other than George Yao. Now, you guys might have heard I'm talking about doing an interview with him. That will indeed happen. Uh, we haven't had a chance to meet up and talk yet, uh, but we have talked informally, and George is a buddy of mine. We are going to sit down. I'm going to do an actual interview with him. We're going to talk about his days of pushing to 4,000 trophies as the first player ever. Now, of course, in the world records, you've got the first player to 5,000, the p first player to 6,000, Galadon the first player to 7,000, uh, but, okay, well, 
Okay, probably not. But I'm just saying, there's something really significant about 4,000. Uh, because once you got to 5,000 and 6,000, well, whether or not players were actually just playing their account or not kind of became questionable. Uh, just because of the size, the number of tens or hundreds of millions of players that were playing Clash of Clans by that point. Okay, let's move on to some other interesting uh, records. We've got right here a clan that was the very first clan to reach level 20. And you'll notice in their description, they claim that they're the top to reach level 23 now. Uh, so on the website, they're the first to reach level 20. Uh, obviously, they are still pushing hard. You can see they've won 583 wars. They're a bunch of super high level players, Legend League players. And I'm guessing they're super active and they're running full size 50 versus 50 wars back to back to back to back to back. And that's what's getting them to advance and obviously a lot of wins, even though their current war win streak is only one war. That's still, that's a pretty huge accomplishment. Level 20 first and now level 23, allegedly first, and who knows where they're going next. Okay, now speaking of big levels, we're going to look at a player that is well known for the first player ever to hit level 300, Brandon. And this also coincidentally is probably the player that holds the most records in Clash of Clans. He's the first player to destroy 10,000 town halls. He's the first to win 10,000 multiplayer battles, first to win 50,000 multiplayer battles, and the first to achieve the 10 million heroic heist, along with the first player to hit level 300. Now there's been other players that have hit higher levels than him and we'll get to them in just a minute, but he was really well popularized back when he was pushing super hard to be that first player to hit level 300. I do remember seeing a bunch of videos about that that came out uh, when he finally did hit level 300. But if you want to go to the first player to hit level 500, here you go, level 500. And uh, obviously other players can hit 500. This would be the player cap, I do believe. You can't go above 500. Uh, this player hit it in November of 2017. And as you can see from his troops donated, it wasn't just from donating troops. There was a lot of other stuff that went on. He was doing tons of attacks and that sort of thing. Because remember, you get experience for donating, you get experience for destroying town halls, and of course, you get experience for upgrading your village. So that would be the first player there to ever reach level 500, and until they raise that cap, he's going to stand. People may tie him, but nobody is going to pass him. Okay, next up, if you're looking for a base you want to defend, maybe you head on over to the first player ever to win 10,000 defenses. Yeah, that's right. He was also the first player to win 20,000 defenses. Realm of Reckoning, this guy also holds uh, two other records. He's the first player to destroy 5,000 Eagle Artilleries and the first player to remove 5,000 Obstacles. So not very closely related achievements, but obviously it speaks to a player that's extremely active and still is 54 attacks one, but apparently his base uh, isn't the one you want to copy. He hasn't won a single defense yet this season. I mean, come on, even Galadon has won like two or three. Okay, let's move on to uh, one more player. We're going to check out Inconveniente. And this player here, check out the war stars on this guy. Town Hall 11, over 4,400 war stars. He was the first player to hit 2,000 war stars back in March of 2016. And then 3,000 war stars in July of 17. And there you go, his that that his home village even kind of looks like a war anti-three star base. But in any case, another record that will never be broken unless maybe somebody else can beat him to 5,000 war stars. So you guys, these are Clash of Clans world records and I just kind of wanted to take a look at these, the records that will stand the test of time because there are obviously players out there that will be setting new records and we're going to talk about records you can beat in a future episode. In the meantime, hey, it speaks to the fact that this game, two words make Clash of Clans what it is today. Player retention. Players keep coming back, they stay, they play the game for years and years. I mean, look at all of these guys that are still playing. I mean, these are record holders 
and they are still here. Now this clan right here, check out the donations on this clan. The last one we're going to check is a clan that has achieved more donations than any other clan in a single two week season. Now, of course, we've got four week seasons now, so there is that, but I just wanted to show this to you as well. They had almost 4 million troops donated in a two week season, 3,958,849. But again, stay tuned to stay subscribed for update information. And of course, for the world records that you could beat episode, Coming to an inbox near you as long as you turn on that notification bell, hit that bell, subscribe. Thank you guys again. You're the true hashtag Galfab. You're here at the end of the video and I genuinely appreciate it. Now get out there. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Spread positivity. Be kind to other people and animals. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more record-breaking attacks. is the first player ever to win Clash of Plans. Come on, Galidon!